Hey everybody, this is Joby, and uh, today I want to show you guys how to change your uh, color settings from combat incoming damage really easily. Okay, so first what we'll do is um, go ahead and do a little sample with this uh, griffin over here. Get him to attack me, which should not be hard. There we go. As you can see the damage is um, pink. I think it's great because it's a real unnatural color. It's very uh, noticeable. Before I did this, um, the color was kind of a weird green yellow color. It looked a lot similar with um, many of the colors that were already in the game and stuff like it's that. All in your head. I didn't really fighting. like it so I went ahead and uh, switched it. This is my friend Joker told me about this and I think it's a great tip. Alright, so it's really easy to change. All you have to do is um, you press start, go into your op options, and you want to go down to gameplay. Now when you're in gameplay, you go all the way, keep going down here. There's a lot of stuff uh, that you can change, and I think uh, this is one of the best ones. So you're looking for enemy color, alright? And then what you want to do is press it, and you can just pick any color you want. Like let's say I pick uh, super red right here alright so now that my color is red uh, we got to find an enemy and there should be lots of them here we go these guys aren't really doing any AOEs though unfortunately but there's a griffin we can get them as soon as we grease these guys die little birds Alright, so we just come over here. Oh no, he's got a baby. She. Okay, just gonna put out the AoE. Charge. See, there it is. Kind of a. It's not even really red, I don't know. It's sort of a puke. Orange color. Like I said, I like the pink better. I think it's way more noticeable and easier to detect keeps you out of you know just the problem is if you have like a lot of aoe's and stuff going on and you you know you might have some friendly buffs so it's real hard to tell so i'm going to change it back to pink gameplay we'll go to enemy color uh, i think this neon pink is like really good works the best for me and uh that's just Let's you know ride. once i figured out that that was the uh kind of like the most unusual color you know not in the game this guy right here. Oh, go do this go do this uh geyser real quick you'll get a lot of examples of all the OEs that'll be coming in oh finish oh there it is nope. There we go. They're coming for us. Come on. They are coming for us, Mary. I'm a little bit worried about that. As you can see, all the AOEs are coming out. And they're, uh... That pink color. Uh, you know, I know people, I don't like pink. But the thing is, is this color, you know, will, it will really tell you what you need to not stand there. That's going to be the most important thing. Um, I learned about this when it was an Elsewhere event, and the problem that was happening was the dragon, for some reason, was just set kind of on a yellow color, and it was real similar with buffs, different buffs that were going out, kind of green, yellow, and it wasn't good. Didn't like it. Not even a little bit. There, see those pink circles going across the floor? Very, very obvious that that's damage. So, this is just a simple tip. You can just change it in a second. You can always change it to whatever color you want. I think the controls are excellent. And uh, I had made a video about this before, but, um, you know, I just wanted to make sure people know about this. People that are new to the channel know that when you look, it's hard to search for, you know, what do you search for? Combat. AOE color settings. No, uh oh, nocturnal, here she comes. She's not nice. 
really don't like your odds. Desiccated healer. No. When I hit my ultimate, that Dragon Knight standard came down on my Dragon. Nothing mortal. Get some good stuff out of here. Maybe some clam gall. Maybe some mother of pearl. Let's check it out. Come on, mother of pearl. Venus necklace. Oh, I got a couple necklaces. We're good. So anyway, that's really about it for today. For um, you know, changing the colors. There's lots of customization and options when you go to gameplay. Enemy color. You know, you can have all your um, everything on. It's like. Uh, let me see. You know, companion reactions. Oh, let's change it to frequent. Okay. They need to have very, very, very infrequent. <laughs> you got to turn on custom colors too. Okay, this is right below combat cues. Custom colors. And that's when you can do this. All right. Uh, I also have on quick cast ground abilities and quick uh, companion, ult you know, ultimate auto cast. So she's going to do that all by herself. All right. Well, that's about it for today. I just wanted to uh, let everybody know how to change your color of your AOE. Somebody had asked me, is there a way to do that? And yes, there is. So that's a good thing. All right. So please give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Leave a comment in the comment section. If there's anything that you'd like to see or if you have any ideas about the video, if I can help you out, I'll be more than happy to. Join me on Discord, the most chill Discord server on the planet. There's a link in the description. If you're not doing anything, follow me on Twitch. The name of the channel is Upper Echelon Mediocrity. And uh, just one word, do a stream from 8.15 p.m. till about 11 p.m. And also from 5 a.m. till around 6.30 or 7 a.m. Have a great time in there. Just come on by. If you're on Xbox One, North American server, you can join my guild. Upper Echelon Mediocrity is the name of the guild. And uh, right now we have 487 members. No members pending and 51 people online. If you want in, just give me a, send me a message. My name is Coyote, C-H-A-O-T-E-Y, and I'll get you in right away. All right, so until that time, let's get paid.